A lot of people are afraid. They're afraid of death. They're afraid of being infected by coronavirus. They're afraid of so many things the enemy has thrown their way. David, in the Bible, was a man who was faced with the threat of death. There was a time a lion wanted to kill one of his sheep. The lion turned on him and he killed the lion. There was a time a bear wanted to kill him. There was a time Saul wanted to kill him. There was a time his own son, Absalom, wanted to kill him. There was a time his wife, Micah, derided him. There was a time that even his own henchmen turned against him. Joab, his military commander, his aide de if you like, turned against him. There was a time that his own family turned against him. But David had this to say in Psalms 118 verse 17, David said, I shall not die but live to declare the glory of God. He spoke about his own life. He declared, he had to make a declaration concerning himself that he will not die. There are times when people are looking at you, expecting you to die. The Bible says in Acts chapter 28 verse 6 that when Paul was on a certain island, the people looked at him, expecting him to die. There are certain people that are looking at you right now, expecting you to die for reasons best known to them. But I tell you, you, they will change their minds. The Bible says they looked at Paul expecting him to die and when they had looked intently for a long time and saw that nothing happened to him, they changed their minds and said he was a God. There are those who are looking at you expecting you to fall, expecting you to fail, expecting you to die. That came to prophesy to you today that no evil will befall you, neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. You will not die. You will live to tell your story. You will live to share your testimony. You will live to walk your children on the aisle. You live to declare the counsel of the Lord in the land of the living. You will be a testimony. You will be a reference point. You will be one that people will look at and use you as an example of those who did not die. Irrespective of what is happening in this season, people are getting sick. You will not be sick. People are dying all around you. You will not die. The Bible says, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In that shadow, no evil can befall you. He will keep you from plague. He will keep you from harm. The Lord Lord himself will rescue you. He will preserve you. He will give you that testimony that you're looking for. I prophesy to you and I declare over you and your family that none shall be lost in the name of Jesus. You will not die. Your children will not die. Your family will lose no one. No one precious to you will be lost. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will sustain you. The Lord will uphold you. The Lord will defend you. The Lord will promote you. The Lord will provide for you. The Lord will give you that testimony that you've been looking for, that favor that you've been looking for, that blessing that you have been looking for. The Lord will make it available to you. In the midst of this crisis, you will come out victorious. In the midst of this adversity, the Lord will sustain you and your household. You will look at your cousins, none of them will be missing. You look at your nieces and your nephews, none of them will be missing. You look for your children and they will all be complete. You look even for your property. Your properties will be complete. You will not lose your job. You will not lose your blessing. You will not lose your favor. You will not lose anything that God has given to you. I prophesy today life to your spirit, to your soul, to your body, in your bones, in your marrows, in your sinews. Life will flow through you in the name of Jesus. When they are writing the stories of those who survived the pandemic, you will be there because you need to begin to come to grasp that God has said you will not die. And you need to make this confession yourself today and say, Lord, I decree and I declare that I shall not die but leave to declare the works of the Lord. I prophesy over you today and over your household that you will not die, your children will not die, your spouse will not die, your loved ones will not die. Nothing precious to you will be lost. I prophesy to the victory on all scale. I prophesy to you that every struggle in your life will cease and God will give you a testimony that cannot be denied. In the name of Jesus. My name is Prophet Dr. Effa Emmanuel. They call me the city prophet. You can call me the boss prophet because Jesus is the boss of my life. If you are watching this broadcast and you've not given your life to Jesus, this is a good opportunity to make that decision today. You can say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me completely. I repent of my sins. Walk in me and be my Lord. Be my savior. From this day forward, I chose to follow you. If you said that prayer, you're born again. Join the Bible Believing Church wherever you are and serve God in spirit and in truth. Or you can join us on Prophetic Prayer Altar on Facebook. 
twice every day, seven days a week, seven zero zero hours and fifteen zero zero hours Eastern Standard Time. So we can pray with you and help you reach the zenith of God's plans for your life. You also can uh, give an offering. If this word resonates with you, you can go ahead and give an uh, offering or pay your tithe or sow a prophetic seed to connect with this word that is being sent to you today. You will not die in the name of Jesus. You can give using paper and the email to use with paper is Ephason at fremanuel.com. If you are in the United States, you can give using Zell and the email for Zell is fason at yahoo.com. If you are in Nigeria, you can give using UBA and the account number is 10-17-41-65-92. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over shall men give unto your bosom. God will bless you above and beyond and you will live to testify of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I decree and declare that you shall not die, but you will live to declare the glory of God. I will see you again next time. But until we see, keep confessing, keep proclaiming, keep pronouncing that you will not die in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I love you. Have a miraculous week. Shalom. Bye-bye.